Hi guys, Assalamualaikum Now we proceed to topic 2 Estimation But first, we focus on sampling distribution of the sample mean Let's look at the introduction to sampling So, sampling is the process of selecting units from a population of interest the best sampling technique chose will define the most representative sample of population. There are two types of sampling. First one is probability sampling. Second is non-probability sampling. So which type of sampling should we use is based on sampling frame. If sampling frame is available, we will use random sample. If not, we will use non-random sample. So, there are five common probability sampling techniques to be used. So, first one is simple random sampling. Second is systematic sampling. Third is stratified sampling. Number four is cluster sampling. And last one is multi-stage sampling technique. Meanwhile, for non-probability sampling technique, normally the researcher use quota sampling or judgmental sampling or maybe convenient sampling and maybe snowball sampling technique. So this one types of probability sampling and also non-probability sampling technique used by the researchers in their study. Next, look at what is sampling theory. So, sampling theory is a study of relationship that exists between a population and samples drawn from the population. The keyword here is relationship. When we talk about the sampling process, there should be sample mean. So for any given sample size taken from a population with mean, the value of the sample mean will vary from sample to sample. Therefore, as the sample size get large enough, the sampling distribution of mean can be approximated by the normal distribution. So this one known as central limit theorem, CLT. Therefore, the mean of sampling distribution of mean denoted by EX bar or mu x bar and this one is equal to the population mean mu meanwhile the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of mean sigma x bar is equal to sigma over square root n assuming that Sample size over population size less than equal to 0.05. So this one, small n is sample size. Capital N is population size. So sampling distribution of mean is as follows. X bar is follows normal distribution with mean equal to mu and variance equal to this one sigma over square root n and then squared so from x bar transform to z you will use this formula okay so for population variance is known the standard error of the sampling mean is sigma x bar. Meanwhile, for population variance is unknown. The standard error of the sampling mean is denoted by sx bar. 
variance known sigma variance unknown s remember that let's try first example the lifetimes of people in country a follows a normal distribution with mean 63 years old and standard deviation 5 years old a survey was carried out on a random sample of 30 dark people so this one is a sampling distribution why sampling distribution because of the word sample here previous normal distribution there is no word of sample remember that Okay, first question, determine the distribution of the sample mean. So, first of all, list all the information given. So, here is mu. So, mu is mean 63. And then sigma. Sigma is standard deviation of 5 years old. And then the sample size equal to 30. So, recall back the sampling distribution of the sample mean. So, this one, x is follows normal distribution with mean equal to mu and then variance. So, this one, sigma over square root n and then square. Substitute mu, sigma and then n. Like that. Next step, solve this one. Therefore, final answer of the distribution of the sample mean is x bar is follows normal distribution with mean equal to 30 and variance equal to 0.9129 squared. Next question, standard error so what is standard error sigma x bar so this one the formula of the standard error if variance is known substitute sigma and then sample size therefore the standard error of the sampling distribution equal to 0.9129 and then last question of first example find the probability so the probability that the mean lifetimes people would be more than 62 years old okay so here is mean based on this word mean less or more the keyword here is more than 62 that's why symbol like this more than so more than 62 and then from x transform to z here so z equal to x bar minus mu over sigma x bar so substitute this value x bar equal to 62 and then mu so mu equal to 63 sigma x bar or standard error equal to 0.9129 so calculate Z less than negative 1.10. So using this table, you may identify or determine the shaded region first. Okay, so where is negative 1.10 left side? So here, negative 1.10. And then the sign here is more than. So more than to the right of negative 1.10. So from the table, 
the value of negative 1.10 ignore the negative sign 1.10 where is it 1.10 is 0.1357 so here the smaller area 0 0.1357 therefore final answer equal to 1 minus 0 0.1357 which is equal to 0 0.8643 Second example, the mean age of a refrigerator is 8.5 years with standard deviation of 5.5 years. A random sample of 50 houses is conducted. If 10% of the refrigerators in the sample have the mean age less than Y, find the value of Y. So this one, you need to find the unknown. Compared to previous example, example 1, you find the probability value. So this one, you need to find the unknown. So look at the information given. 10%. So 10% is the probability value given in the percentage form. Convert to decimal 0 0.1. Okay, first. What is the information given? Mu or mean equal to 8.5. Next, sigma or standard deviation equal to 5.5. And then the sample size n equal to 50. So, x bar is follows normal distribution with mean equal to 8.5 and variance equal to 0 0.7778 square. Okay, next, this one. X bar less than Y equal to 0 0.10. So, X bar means that the sample mean X bar less than Y. That's why here is x bar less than y equal to 0 0.10 based on this value 10 percent okay next from x bar transform to z so y minus mu so mu equal to 8.5 substitute and then sigma 0 0.7778 equal to 0 0.10. Next step, using this table, table 4. Or you can use table 3. So, by using table 4, percentage points of the normal distribution. So, look at the probability value, 0 0.10 here, 0 0.10. So, the value equal to 1.2816. Is it positive or negative? Recall back. So, here is the symbol less than and then the probability value less than 0 0.5 therefore this value is in negative sign okay this one negative 1.2816 so calculate y at the end final answer equal to 7.5 years so this one step by step how you want to find the unknown given the probability value 
Okay guys, you may try these three questions and then at the end, you can check the answers. That's all about the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Assalamualaikum. Dah.